Hi there, I'm Lisa with Unlimited Book Reviews, and today's book that we're going to look at is Lust, Money, and Murder, a series by Mike Wells, and this is book one, Lust, the intro introductory book to the series. So there's the cover there. The stats on this book, it's in the genre mystery, thriller and suspense, and also crime fiction and organized crime, depending on the different Amazon that you're in. It's ranking right now, currently its best ranking is number 30. The series is called Lust, Money, and Murder, and I believe there are quite a few books that in the series. This is number one in the series, and it's 107 pages long. It's the only one that's free on Kindle Unlimited, and it's it, introductory to kind of get you to see if you're willing to pay probably for the author. Now the main characters in this series are Elaine, our heroine, and Nick in this particular book. And it's hard to say if that'll change through the course of it. It's written in the third person with Elaine's point of view through most of it. The book description Born in the worst suburb in Pittsburgh, Elaine Brogan is a bright, beautiful, and bold. When her father is falsely arrested for passing counterfeit $100 bills, Elaine vows to become a Secret Service agent and track down the man responsible. After barely surviving the arduous Secret Service Training Academy in Laurel, Maryland, she is transferred to bleak and blustery Great Falls, Montana. But things do not go as planned, and Elaine soon finds herself betrayed and thrown into an adventure that takes her halfway around the world from dark and mysterious Sofia, Bulgaria, to Moscow, Russia, and finally to Milan, Italy. In the end, will Elaine find the love and happiness she truly seeks, or will she turn to a life of obscene wealth, power, and corruption? Now in this particular book, she made it through the training, she went to, um, let's see, the first place, Great Falls, Montana, and then she ended up in Sofia, Bulgaria. So that was as far as this first book took it. And the character development during the course of this, it goes right from her birth. So when a grieving young woman inadvertently gets her father incarcerated, she swears revenge by becoming a Secret Service agent to take down the guilty parties. After successfully completing schooling and working at multiple offices, she develops a relationship with the man of her dreams. Unfortunately, it appears everything may not be as perfect as she believes, and she has to choose between her career and her new relationship. And that's kind of where it ends, where you're kind of um, left there. So the storyline on it, original, yes. Suspense, yes. Humor, there's a little bit. Drama and conflict, yes, definitely. Mystery, yes action a little bit in this. It's kind of a build up. You can tell you're kind of getting the backstory and the world building and everything on this at this point of it. So the romance, she meets the guy of her dreams at 65% into the book. And then sparks start to fly around 80% into the book. And they end up having sex around 89% into the book. So as far as the actual romance in the book, it's not descriptive. That isn't what this book is about. It's more of a thriller. There are some other women up to that point where, you know, she isn't really sure where she stands. And there's definitely no happy, happy happily ever after or anything as far as the romance end of it. The thriller part of it, it's really just getting rolling in this book the mystery as far as kind of wondering how it's going to go. So the writing in it, written by Mike Wells. The style is very good, very clean, very easy, written in third person. You can tell he's written a lot and it flows really well. Typos, no, I didn't see anything in it. Inconsistencies, no, nothing that made me aggravated. Are you left hanging? Very much left hanging at the end of the book. It's kind of your intro. He has about 53 books out. None of them are in Kindle Unlimited, really. Um, this one is technically not in Kindle Unlimited. It's just 
free on Amazon. So it's the first one in the series. And I think that you that there were around 11 of them out when I looked. So this is long, a long storyline um, broken up by probably 100 to 120 pages each or something. Did I like it? Yeah, definitely very good, very well written, easy to read, all those things. Um, what did I like best about it? He, he wrote from what sounded real like when he he talks about her and her her growing up and um, different interactions she has with other people it just it's very real sounding like the way she acts is very real to life and that kind of makes it good right and unique quotes highlighted by the readers she decided then and there that she was going to become a Secret Service agent and that she was going to track down Ronald Askew and punish him for what he had done. Elaine. There, I, I don't think there were any highlights. These are ones that I picked. So that was kind of the kickoff point when she decided that was it. Um, face it, honey. You're too much of a girly girl for this kind of work. Why don't you get a job at some department store cosmetics counter and save yourself the humiliation? If you go on like this, I'm warning you, you might chip your nail polish. So that was Luna, one of her trainers at the Secret Service. As you can see, there's some good fun in it. And then 447 reviews, 4.1 out of 5. Tina says, Jane Austen said it best, and I am paraphrasing, when something is written well, it is always found too short. Exactly my conundrum reading Mike Wells' Lust, Money, and Murder. The author's descriptive imagery carried me along with the chapters through Italy, the United States, and Bulgaria. And that's very true. It was written very well. R. Norman's heading is Intri Intrigue, Romance, and Money. Oh my. And then there's a one-star guy. There's a few one-star people, and they all kind of have this. Guy Allen's heading says, unfinished. The body says, the book Lust is part of a three-book set, which must be read in its entirety to get the full story. I downloaded Lust as a freebie and got exactly what I paid nothing. I was unaware of this arrangement until the end of the book, where... A a climatic episode was about to take place and it never did and he's right that's the way it ended but be warned you know that's kind of why you look at reviews and figure out what you're getting because it is maddening to read something and then not be able to finish so anyways be warned this one is an intro to a series that maybe one through three would kind of wind up certain things but I'm sure it carries on because it goes on and it looks like a really good one so take a look at it let me know what you think be sure to push the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel that would be really great on YouTube and thanks for stopping by